That's right. As promised, the first of two shows. We're getting the rant out of the way because that's how I roll. As always, thank you for listening. Ted Bangers and Hooligans, yours truly, Scumalicious. And we're talking about women today. Women in music. And I am the voice of reason when it comes to the ladies. And I know there's some of you that will listen to this and go, wow, it's a malicious feminist now? Huh? You sucking the asses of those ladies? You fucking right, I'm going to suck the ass of the women. Who the fuck doesn't love women? Seriously. Well, I mean, there's some things about them that ir- fucking irritate me too. But you know where I'm going with this. It's these fucking people, and I see the comments on YouTube and all the other shit, right? The social media shit that I bitched about a couple weeks ago. Oh, wow. Nice guitar solo. And I'm real tired because it's a woman. The only fucking reason we're listening to it, if we're a guy, is because the chick is hot. Right? Which you know what that helps. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that that's a bad thing. Shit. I enjoy looking at hot women that fucking play guitar. Okay. And I was kind of talking to a, a friend of mine, and I'm just gonna because I don't want to destroy her name. She's a fellow Panther. That's right, Steel Panther. All right. She's from England, which is cool. I, you know, because I don't meet people from England, and I'm kind of obsessed with the country a little bit. Uh, I'm going to call her Mrs. T because I don't want to destroy her name. But we were talking about this. She plays guitar and, you know, I always try to encourage her. I think it's cool that when a woman plays guitar, I just think it's fucking awesome. Actually, when anybody plays guitar, uh, it's not easy. And no, it's not Rocksmith, okay? And it's not the fucking apps you can get on your phone. Oh, learn to play guitar in three days. No, I'm talking about sitting down, actually learning fucking songs and notes. That shit's ridiculous. Anyway, and we got into the discussion of how it's like a double standard for men and women. And it's we know that's how it goes in the music industry. But... It's gotten to a point now where it really is just to be an absolute fucking cocksucker, right? Just to be a fucking asshole, because you can be. Oh, this is a fucking nice video. Well, just, just like the Iron Maidens thing, right? I made that argument with the douchebag that was fingering his asshole in his mom's basement. Well, they don't even write their own songs because they're a fucking cover cover band. Yeah, see, I get so frustrated I don't even fucking say the word right. I can't even get the whole word out. Would you just fucking quit playing your Xbox 690 for two fucking minutes and pay attention to the fucking screen and to the music you're listening to? Okay? Fuck, I, I definitely have more respect for you. If you were beaten off to a fucking magazine like, let's say, Black Tail, hey, I'm with you, voluptuous. No, you're playing video games, so shut the fuck up, all right? Go learn something. Also, too, all right, from time to time, I'm not going to lie, I make mistakes, and I think I made a mistake. Uh, Last little rant I did. I, at the end, I bitched about the new movie, A Star is Born, Bradley Cooper. And I said, why did you get Lady Gaga? I think she might be making me eat my fucking words. Or going, it's going to happen. Because I've seen nothing but really awesome reviews for it. They say she's really good in it. And it was kind of unnecessary to say that she looked like a guy. She's an interesting looking person, right? And trust me, if Lady Gaga knocked on the door said, hey, you want to go out on a date? Fuck yeah. I mean, I'm all over it. All right? So, I'm just saying, probably jumped the gun a little bit on that. It just kind of surprised me. I was like, 
right, he picked Lady Gaga, and then, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta say from the little clips I saw, she sounds good, she looks good, she can act, fuck, I, I didn't know, all right, I jumped the gun, but, see, I can admit it when I make a mistake, so there you go, my apologies to Lady Gaga and her fans. And when I'm talking about women in rock and, like, punk rock, I'm talking about women that actually have talent. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm not talking about fucking Megan Trainer, Because I'm not all about that fucking bass in Ariana Grande and fucking Cardi B and Katy Perry. Pink's pretty good, though. I get, Pink gets my respect. She can actually sing. She writes some of her own songs and shit. You know, I'm talking about... We can go way back. For me, seriously, and this is... This is where my love for black women comes in. Because this is... I blame this on mom. She listened to Motown a lot, right? The Shirelles, the Chiffons, the Supremes. That's where it started for me. You know? And I still, you know... Wait a minute, Mr. Postman! Doolang, doolang, doolang. Huh? But you didn't know that I knew that fucking song, huh? Mom has a 45. But think about the shit that they went through. Huh? Back in the late 50s, 60s, early 60s. Huh? Black women getting on stage, singing their fucking asses off, going through some hardcore shit. You know, they're not... They didn't have Twitter back then, so they didn't have to go through all the trauma that you kids go through today, you know. He talked shit to me on Twitter, right? We're talking about real life shit, okay? Let's just let's make that distinction there. But it's kind of always been that way, right, for women. Maybe they're good singers, but they don't write their own songs. Or, uh, you know, they don't play an instrument. Or... If they do play an instrument, yeah, they're not that good. Well, they are good. Go write a fucking song, like I said before, and I know I've said this a lot too. Go, if you can do better than the Bomb Pops, let's say, yes, I'm going to mention them again. Um, wow, this is really punk. Okay, maybe it's not punk to you. I don't give a fuck, but what have you wrote? What kind of music have you created? Have you sold? Have you made money off of it? Zero. But yet you still continue to talk shit. And I I love YouTube. And there's cool people on there. There is. I've had cool discussions with people. Got into arguments. And we actually become kind of friends at the end of the argument. You can have differences of opinion and still get along with people. But... There's always these fucking assholes, no matter what. They're just on there. I'm not going to use the word troll because I'm so sick of that fucking word. I call them ass maggots. That's right. I created that word for them people because that's what they are. You know? You know, Lita Ford, the runaways. Think about that. All female, you know, rock group. Oh, well, that cherry bombs. Big deal. Well, like I said, do you even have one fucking song that made money? Probably not. So shut the fuck up. Quit hating, all right? You can be an attractive woman, and you can be talented at music. And there's nothing wrong with that. And another thing, too. Like if the woman, whoever it is, what musician it is, I noticed this too. Ew. Well, you can have her. What the fuck do you look like? Why Why is it that a guy can weigh 300 fucking pounds, be bald, ugly as fuck, but the woman's got to be perfect? Tell me what the fuck, what's right about that? And there ain't nothing wrong with a woman that's bigger. And I'm not going to get back into that again, but you know how I feel about that. Some some women eat salad, some women eat steak. Give me the woman that eats fucking steak. 
any day of the week. Uh, you know, the cowgirls from hell, perfect example. And I mentioned this before, ripping on the, the lead singer. Well, I guess if you like him big. Well, fuck you. First off, they have the balls to play that music. And listen, Pantera, unique band, hardcore fans. I mean, Pantera fans are fucking hardcore about that band, right? So give the lady some credit for having the balls to perform that music live and doing it pretty fucking good. All right? Let's see you go fucking sing Phil and Selma's songs. Let's see you play fucking dime bags guitar solos. Oh, that's right. You can't. And and yes, just a reminder, just like the Iron Maidens, they're a cover band. Fucking, ah, uh, dipshits. Sitting there with their fucking fingers up their ass. Yeah, the Donnas, another band. I don't love them, but I respect them, right? The guitarist is hot as hell, too, okay? Recorded a lot of music. You know, the Bangles, right? The Go-Go's, Stevie Nicks. Yeah, I'm going a little old school. I'm Actually, I'm all over the fucking map. You know, Joan Jett, Wendy O. Williams. I even like fucking that chick from Roxette. She's got the look. She's got the look. She's got the look. I I don't know her fucking name. But. Just have some appreciation. You know, even. And this is for my buddy, Donna Summer. She works hard for the money. So hard for you, honey. Oh. God, I fucking love me some Donna Summer. She is fucking hot. For real. My goodness. But, you know, Patty Smythe, remember her? Scandal? And the warrior. I am the warrior. How do I do it? If you survive. Me, me, me. You know, little guitar riff there. You know, Nina, 99 Left Balloons. Yeah, she's from the motherland. That's right, Germany. 99 says Left Balloons. You know, the Divinals. When I think about you, would touch myself. And that, uh, that lady, rest in peace. She passed away. Love that video. Love that song. And I don't care. I thought she was out back in the day. Probably masturbated to her. Fuck it. I ain't gonna lie. But what I'm getting at, and the music scene is so different today, but, but these ladies, and I'm probably forgetting a bunch, but and how could I forget Pat Benatar, for fuck's sake, one of my favorites. They're talented. It's not easy. And it isn't. It, it is harder for female musicians. It is. Right? Uh, so, when you see a video, and if you don't like it, I get it. Right? We don't all listen to the same shit. We don't all... I know everybody doesn't love what I, what I love, which makes no fucking sense to me, because I think that the bands and musicians I listen to are better than anybody else's. I'm a prick that way. But, you know, just move on. Ah, I don't like this. No, no, no need to comment on it. All right, you see the Facebook post. Wow, what's this chick doing taking a picture with two dudes? This girl with a guitar. Is she gonna fuck both guys? But what if it was the other way around? The guy with two chicks. That's like, oh, cool. This guy's gonna bang two fucking chicks. All right. And if you guys want to, like I said, think, oh, okay, feminist. Okay, fucking twat liquor. Yeah. I am a twat liquor. And just be glad that there's still fucking women like this out here. Like Mrs. Uh, T over in England. Women that actually play the guitar, play songs, 
right music, not that fucking garbage like Cardi B fucking rapping with Maroon, Maroon 5. Who listens to Maroon 5? Can someone fucking tell me that? I would love to know. Who is the fucking person that goes and buys, or excuse me, downloads, no one buys fucking CDs anymore, I forgot my bad, but downloads Maroon 5. Who? What, a third, 35 year old women? I mean, who fucking listens to that shit? I just, sorry, I don't, I don't get it. And they've been playing for like 50 fucking years, at least it feels like it. So, yeah. I'm good now. It's just, a, it's a shout out to the ladies. You know? Keep getting after it. And don't let all the fucking ass maggots bring you down. Keep getting after it. All right. Be back in a little bit with Mucky Puff, Boy in a Man's World. I'm out. <laughs> Thank you.